Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to choose your attempts for a powerlifting competition. Now if you're new to the sport or you don't have that many competitions underneath your belt, this is going to be a great video for you to be able to learn how to choose those attempts wisely. Additionally, if you're more of a recreational lifter and you've never competed before and you don't plan to, this is still a good video for you because it's going to teach you how to properly max out in the gym to be able to hit some big PRs. All right, so in powerlifting, you essentially have three attempts for each of the given lifts. So that's the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. Now, it's going to be very important for you to choose wise attempts because if you don't get any attempts at all, you could very well bomb out from the competition, which just means you get disqualified. Not only that, but if you're choosing poor attempts, you're going to make it very difficult for you to hit any sort of big PRs in the competition, especially since... Instead of just doing maybe one max out what you're used to in training, now we're doing a max out for the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. So it's really important to just make sure you're choosing wise numbers leading up to a big day. All right, guys, so we're going to start by talking about the opener. Now, the opener should be anywhere from 87 to 92% of the goal for the day. Uh, the opener should really be a movement that's just absolutely easy. If anything, it's a number that you should be able to triple out in training with absolutely no problems. Now, the reason why it should be an easy lift is for the following two reasons. Number one, it's going to get you into the competition. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you don't hit any of your lifts, you do get disqualified. So you do uh, bomb out from a powerlifting competition. You really want to absolutely avoid that, especially if it's your first competition. That's just not a good way to uh, really start your, um, your interest in the sport. Um, not only that, but the reason why you really want to make sure that this uh, lift is super easy is because it's going to build confidence. It's really going to get you going um, for your second and your third attempt. Can you imagine, um, you know, let's say it's your first squat, uh, first attempt, and you miss that lift. It, it can be really discouraging, especially if it's your first competition. So you want to just uh, build that confidence and get the ball rolling. Um, and actually, one more reason why you really should make it absolutely easy is... You never know what's going to happen at the competition. Maybe you're used to walking it out and all of a sudden now we have a monolift and um, you're forced to go ahead and really just walk out of this monolift which you've never used before. Or uh, let's say the platform's a little weird and you're not used to it or you're used to squatting on a 45 pound bar and it's a 60 pound bar. There could be a million things that can happen. Um, so the opener should help you acclimate to any sort of variables that you're not used to in training and sort of set the pace for the uh, for the rest of the competition so that you can do very well. All right now, so for the second attempt, it really should be something within the 92 to 97% range. Personally, I think that it should be used as a stepping stone from the first attempt over to the third attempt to be able to more or less prime the central nervous system and really set you up for a big PR. I mean, you've been working up your whole training cycle for uh, that big PR. Last thing you really want to do is is um, is really mess that up. I know some people enjoy taking this as pretty much their um, their PR already. So they take their second attempts as a PR and figure if they don't get it on their second uh, attempt, they can go ahead and hit it on their third attempt. Um, but I don't think this is the best way to do it just because chances are if you're failing it on your second, you've already fried yourself. Um, and if anything, the third one isn't going to go very well. Uh, very rarely do people come back from uh, missing the lift um, unless it was just purely technical. Um, and then not only that, but you just sacrifice a lot of energy for the rest of the day and you could even hurt yourself or, or um, you know, strain something, anything along those lines. So second attempt, 92 to 97%, use it as a stepping stone and really set yourself up for that uh, big third attempt. Now finally, the big third attempt should really be somewhere between 97 to over 100%. I mean, really, if you're going for a um, for a PR, it should be over 100%. Um, now, you don't necessarily have to take a PR on this one. If you're feeling kind of shitty that day and you figure, hey, you know, 
Um, I should probably take it easier and save my energy for the rest of the day. You can very well just take it on the lower end, just hit something around 97% uh, um, and just add to your total. But if you're feeling really good, you could just uh, go for that big PR. I mean, you may as well. You've been training for it, like I mentioned. Um, so why not? Um, so you should probably get the opinion of somebody else, but this is where, you know, um, that external feedback really comes important. Um, me personally, I like to uh, baseline my numbers um, so that I can get an idea of where I'm at. But in the competition, I could very well change my numbers by a few percentages, uh, just depending on how I feel that day. But your third attempt is your full max out, so make sure you give it your all. If you're following the method that I'm highlighting here, your first really should have built that confidence. Your second should have been the stepping stone. And now it's just time to hit that big uh, third attempt. All right, guys. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe. Also, give it a thumbs up so that I know to continue to make more uh, uh, content like this. Also, absolutely be sure to check out searchtonewlevels.net. I just recently started offering a 30-minute uh, complimentary uh, online consultation. So if you just send me an email, my email's uh, linked down below, we can go ahead and set up an appointment and I can pretty much go over any of the things that we've uh, covered today, you know, about attempt selection or if you have any further questions about it, that would be a great time to go ahead and really talk about that. So you can find all that information below as well with um, all my links to just about everything Facebook Twitter Tumblr Instagram uh, literally everything so thank you very much and once again I will see you next time